All right. Can we go with Charlie? Sure. <laughs> Charlie in Illinois. You're live with Eric and V. Hi, V. Hi, Eric. Hello. Hi, Charlie. Doing good. I, I, we're, we're, we're over time, but we want to talk to people, and we've got a couple of great callers after you. But we, we wanted to uh, go on your topic. So you wanted to ask if the future is deterministic? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to get your opinions on that. I did uh, talk to you guys about two years ago on the topic, so I kind of wanted to call see if your opinions had changed and cool. kind of give a little follow-up uh, to that conversation. Sure. Well, thanks um, for calling back. So so my view on determinism, just so that people follow with that, mm -hmm. is um, some people view the 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 progress of time the way that you would view dominoes knocking each other down, that one thing causes another and this kind of process of causality means that if we were to rewind time and play it back, everything would happen the exact same way. And because of that, everything that will happen was going to happen because we live in a physical world that is kind of on this causal uh, domino chain. Is that is that about right? Or how you view it? Uh, I think that's about right. Okay. And do you think the future is deterministic? Hello? Hello, can you hear us? Yes, sorry. I did not think the sorry i didn't hear that it was pointed to me i thought oh. you said you know i was waiting for v's response got it no worries no do you think that the future is deterministic uh i don't know uh i think it might be um but i don't really have any reason to say one way or the other on the subject okay all right um uh, V, what about you? Well, I mean, I think we're going to be all in agreement here. Like, yeah, I, I don't really have a reason to think one or the other. I think that practically right now it makes sense to act as though we had free will because I don't really know how the world would function if we didn't think that we were instigating our own destiny, for lack of a better term. But at the same time, on a molecular level, on a on a <laughs> physical level, like, is that the case? I, I don't see a reason why it would be, but I also have not seen definitive evidence to the contrary either. So what? it really feels unfalsifiable at this point, not because it's claiming something that is inherently unfalsifiable, but rather we don't have the capability yet to falsify it or not. It sounds like you jumped from determinism to free will. No, I think that probably based on what I've read and understood, the determinism is more likely from like, again, this biological molecular standpoint. But practically, as somebody who does appreciate the pragmatic element in things, I don't think it would be useful for me to say, oh, it's all determined, so I'm just going to not act as though I had free will. Even if, if, is that even a choice? Like, can I not act as though I have free will? I don't know. I, okay. I wasn't drawing a <laughs> knot for a bit, actually. I was just like, okay. Um, I, I think where I stand, Charlie, is um, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of with you there. I don't know. Um, I, there are things I do know, just like V said. Um, I think we're meat robots. I don't think we have uh, some ghost piloting the machine. That said, um, I think that if there was a non-deterministic world, it's only because of randomness. Like I think if we were to reverse time and play it back again, including just natural interactions between things, that we may not have the same world again. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think that um, that changes can be random. And, and if there's randomness, then there's not pure determinism. But that doesn't get into what V was talking about, free will. Because I definitely don't think we have free will. <laughs> no, either way, whether it's all determined and laid out or whether everything is chaos, both negate the concept of free will. Well, I, I don't think it's all chaos either. I just think that... Um, that oh, I heard Charlie go... Yeah, yeah, Charlie, what do you got? And then we'll, 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 we'll skip on for <laughs> so the next call. My thought on that is even if the universe is deterministic, like just, just a domino analogy, that we... Even if it is determined what our brain states are from 
the beginning of the universe. I think we still have the choice to do what we do. Um, I, I say choice a little loosely here in this conversation. Sure. Um, but I, I think we still decide what we want to do, even if it is already predicated on previous facts or states of the universe that if everything played out the same, we would make the same decision. I think that decision is still ultimately ours, even if we wouldn't make it the same over a thousand million tests of the same state. Uh, as long as we didn't know that there were multiple tests, I think we would, and even if we still made the same decision, I think that's still technically our decision. Well, I mean, I think at that point you get to the concept of decision ultimately implying free will in the way we use it now, but decision could just mean making the inevitable choice to do a thing. I, 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 I guess so, so the, the, one of the best um, responses that I've ever gotten to this, and then we'll move on to the next call, I think was from Jamie. Actually, he and I had a long night where we were talking about determinism and free will. And he said, you know, I don't think we're phrasing this. Or I don't think we're framing this the right way. Um, because whether or not you're making a choice to commit a crime or not commit a crime, the consequences of those actions remain the same. And so for you to do, like V was saying, well, it doesn't matter what I do because I was going to do it anyway. The consequences for those for that action remains the same, whether you had uh, free will or not free will. Right. Right. Whether or not you actually had a choice, the consequences yeah. remain the same. And so that consideration goes into the algorithm. That consideration goes into everything that's part of making those choices. And so whether or not you're thinking, if you're thinking, well, should I kill somebody? Should I not kill somebody? Do I have free will? Was it going to happen anyway? Whether or not you thought you, whether or not you thought you had free will, you're still going to go to jail for the rest of your life if you do. Yeah. So. Well, that's the thing. I think mm -hmm. in that case, and like focusing on the impact of an action, regardless of whether or not it was ultimately able to be avoided, is it makes a really good case for a um, a less retributive kind of justice system, right? Because we don't need to punish people. We just need to make sure that we protect other people from them if necessary, right? So that would entail, even, even if we didn't decide ultimately, okay, free will is a myth and we're all determined to do what we do, even if we don't get there, I think that makes a really good case for, in the event that that is true, focusing more on rehabilitation mm -hmm. and on just uh, removing people maybe who would harm society from it without that additional like retributive justice concept. Yeah, if you view the mind as a program and there's something wrong there, then I, I know it sounds icky, the, the whole reprogramming thing. But uh, yeah, no, if, if, if you're behaving in a way that is dangerous to society and to yourself, then um, if getting therapy and working through that's going to get you better, then you're something. I but will anyway. never forget... The yeah. day that I was listening to the podcast uh, recordings of the Great Classes Plus uh, series by Dr. David Kyle Johnson mm -hmm. and that concept of reprogramming and the morality behind that, if indeed determinism was real, where like I legitimately remember where I was on the street, on <laughs> High Street in Columbus, Ohio, when that hit me for the first time. It was, I was like, like, holy That shit. was a Eureka moment right there. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is nice. All right. Charlie, <laughs> thank you for calling in. This has been fun. Yeah, uh definitely glad to call in again and uh and I might call in some other week that I am available. Awesome. to talk about the second topic that we talked about two years ago. <laughs> Sounds um, good. Thank you for following us over yeah. and, and finding us. And uh, there are still people who haven't found out where to find us. So uh, if you get the chance and it's safe to do so, yeah. uh, share us out, man. I, we're, 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 we, we, we love talking to people that we've, we've had conversations yeah, with before. Awesome. Definitely will. And I only found out that you guys have started this show like a few weeks ago. So I'm glad that I did find you again nice Good. we're glad you made it thanks Take so care, much buddy. charlie yeah. oh okay